guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a discussion about my bookish pet peeves. Now this is definitely not a new video. I know this has been kind of going around booktube for a while now. I love watching people discuss their bookish pet peeves because it's really interesting some of the things that bother different people and so I thought it would be a lot of fun to finally film my own bookish pet peeves. I definitely have a lot of bookish pet peeves but I was able to narrow it down to 10. So let's get started. Bookish pet peeve number one. When people interrupt me while I'm reading and there's an exception to this so like if I'm interrupted while I'm reading by a friend or someone I know very well and they ask me hey what are you reading or I know they like to read and they're curious about the book and maybe it could be a book that they're interested in that doesn't bother me at all I love recommending books to people interrupt me all you want that that's okay but it's someone that I don't know and they see me reading and they're like what are you doing? As like my head is in a book. I'm reading. Oh, what are you reading? Oh, a young adult series. Oh, what's it about? It's like, how do you tell someone like what the third book of a series is about? Bookish pet peeve number two, when there are actual people on the covers. Now I have a few book cover pet peeves and that's just because I am able to enjoy like a beautiful cover but when there are real people on the covers it just drives me nuts it's basically like I feel like I can't imagine the characters like I want to bookish pet peeve number three I hate it when books have stickers on them a lot of times it, the the sticker is so sticky that it you can't take it off and it leaves residue on it or you can't get all of it off and it's just it's so annoying bookish pet peeve number four and this is um, the last cover pet peeve that I have and that is cover changes when covers are changed in the middle of a series or book covers are changed to just an uglier cover. Bookish pet peeve number five. Books that have bad endings or like no resolution. A lot of people say that well that's real life you know things don't always end nicely. That's true but things end like unless the characters are all dead <laughs> The story is not over, so I'd like to see more. I'd like to see what happens a little bit further on, maybe like an epilogue or something. Bookish pet peeve number six. When a book in a series has a completely different setting change. For example, the Divergent series, as the series progressed, the book felt more futuristic than it did at the very beginning when everything was in like ruins and kind of poverty. Bookish pet peeve number seven. When characters are described as ordinary especially female characters so when female characters are described as ordinary and they have brown hair and brown eyes and they're kind of pale not very tall that basically describes me and so many other girls you're reading it and it's like oh this character has like beautiful big brown chocolate eyes and silky brown hair and like flawless pale skin but they're really ordinary. That doesn't make sense. I mean, you just describe someone who looks really beautiful. I don't see how that's ordinary. Just because it's more common doesn't necessarily mean it's ordinary. Bookish pet peeve number eight. Now I'm kind of stealing this pet peeve. Cat from Katie Tastic mentioned this in her pet peeve video and I cannot unsee it. Where characters say something along the lines of, I didn't realize I was holding my breath. How do you not realize you're not breathing? It's a natural instinct to breathe. I cannot unsee it and it is driving me crazy. Bookish pet peeve number nine. When there is romance drama in the second book. I see this in a lot of trilogies where the second book has some sort of romantic drama between the two male and female protagonists. I understand couples have fight, that's normal, it happens, but why does there need to be an entire second book, and it's always the second book, dedicated to the drama between those two characters? Why can't they just stay together? Why do they have to have like this big dramatic breakup and then they get back together? And lastly, bookish pet peeve number 10. When a book has too many points of views. I don't mind there being two or maybe even three points of views, but when you're having 
five or six it gets to be a little bit too too much all right guys well that is it for my bookish pet peeves video i hope you enjoyed it definitely comment down below and let me know some of your top three bookish pet peeves i hope you all have a great night and i will see you next time with another video bye